Once upon a time, there was a land of Gallon. And in the land of Gallon, there lived four queens. And each queen had one prince and one princess. And each prince and princess had two children. Now for, day, for today's notes, I'd like you to set up a page in your journal to put the land of Gallon in your journals for the rest of the year so you have an easy access to this as a reference. This will help you for conversion problems that we're actually going to do um, in the next video. So let's set up your page with a title, Land of Gallon. Now pause the video so you can set this up with um, the title in your table of contents as well as a title at the top of the page in your, on the page of your journal. Alright, hopefully you've gone ahead and done that. We did an activity um, on the Friday um, already back in class. You guys have already taken it home. Um, the Land of Gallon, I find, is um, the easiest uh, way to see how the relations of um, the customary units of volume and capacity are related to each other. So when you do your uh, land of gallon, or as I call it, the big G, um, make sure that you have all of your um, letters big enough so all the other letters can fit in between, in, inside them. So we're going to start off. You have the entire page to make your big G. Um, if you need to, use a pencil so you can make corrections as needed. So we have a big G here. So you can fit all of your four queens. The G stands, of course, for gallon. And we start with the gallon. That's the biggest measurement for our customary measurements. Of course, you have all of this on your star reference page, but this gives you a visual representation um, to be able to help you. You can put this on your measurement test or on the star sheet or jot it out wherever you need to know how many cups are in a pint or quart or gallon. So next, um, we have the four queens that live in the uh, land of gallon. Those are the four quarts that go into a gallon. Now make sure your queens are big enough that we can put the um, prince and princesses and the children in there. So you have all the space in between inside to put your four queens. So make them big enough to put them in. Use all that space. So you can just put four circles and then their little tails for the queue. So I think that's that's plenty big enough. So we have four quarts within our gallon here. Now inside each queen has a prince and a princess. Those stand for the two pints that go into each quart. Now make sure you make the, um, the P big enough so that you can put the two children inside. Those are the two cups. So um, when I was going over your, some of your work, you made your P's a little too small. You have enough space to put two pre, a prince and a princess inside. So you can, you've got plenty of space, use it up, okay? Our quarts, they're, they're two pints in one quart. And as you can see, if you needed to know how many pints were in a gallon, we could just count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go, that helps us figure out real quickly how many uh, pints are in a gallon. That skips going over having to figure out how many pints 
are in one chord, how many, uh, you know, that's, that's, that skips over one, um, uh, one um, unit right there. Okay, now each of these prince and princesses has two children, so we're going to put two children inside, and hopefully you guys have made these big enough that you can fit those two children or cups inside freely. So there you go. You should be able to see very clearly. And then you can see, well, um, we can go from cups easily to quarts. Yeah, there are two cups in a pint. There are two pints in each quart. There are four quarts in a gallon, but we can easily skip any of those measurements to go on to the next. And we can skip them all and go straight from cups to gallons. How many cups are in a gallon? Well, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And 16 cups are in one gallon. So we can easily use that measurement to go into that. Now, we also have um, fluid ounces um, that uh, there are eight fluid ounces in each of these cups, um, which we could easily put in a little eight inside of each one of these. Um, maybe they have uh, each children, each child has eight cats, so we could put an eight inside of those um, to indicate the eight fluid ounces. Um, but this will give you uh, a reference to be able to use. Um, if you need help working on this, uh, just bring it back. Uh, I will be checking your notes tomorrow. And you can always uh, reference my notes as well. But this is what I will be checking tomorrow. If you need to uh, try again, um, just go ahead and watch the video again and take a look. And uh, the next video will be using this to help us make some uh, do some converting.